Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to this channel. By the way, I am Eduardo Golfan and in today's video, let's talk about creating an auto backup in Microsoft Access. To give you an idea guys, let me show you my sample. This one, my sample file, the employee list. When we click this, here we go. So let us add a new data. For example, Edsel and then the department is IT and when we click log out automatically there's another file being created the employee list as of February 19 today so we can do the backup guys by date or we can also doing that by month so how to do this if you are still interested please watch this video until the end and please do subscribe if you have not yet subscribe <laughs> So now let us create a new one guys. Let's add a logout button. Cancel the wizard. Let's rename this to logout. And after that, go to property sheet. On click, click the three dots. Code builder. Click OK. And here we go guys. Let's start the coding. So now let's type or let us declare the the variables. So, uh, declare the variables. So, I created like this case because uh, later on I will upload this uh, template. So, the first variable is dim, so source as string. And then, dim also the target, we need a target as string also. And then, dim e as integer or number. And then, dim, uh, this is the object. Object, uh, f, s, o, as object. Okay. And then, the path, dim, path as string. Mostly, we use the string, guys. So, now, this is our variables now. Uh, let's proceed to setting the value of these variables. So, uh, declare the value of its variables. So, source, the source is uh, current db. Current db dot name. So, I will put a remarks here. So, this is the current database name. Okay. And then, next is the path. It's equals to uh, current. This is the current project. Make sure the name is correct. Okay, project name. i uh, sorry, path. Because uh, we're uh, setting the value of path. Okay. This is the current project location or current database location and then the first target guys target is uh, path the value of this uh, this one so path and let's do the concatenation let's put double quote it's slash so this is the name of the file like employee list Okay, something like this and then make sure to double cut that one and then let's put the remarks name of the file and then the last target this target guys is this one but we will add a, uh, the date so let's put target and like as of now as of okay and then format this is now or the date for this date format now and then now is mm uh, okay and then also the date and also the year 
Y Y Y. Okay. And that's that's it. And then in close parenthesis, and then I will. Don't forget, guys, to put or to insert the uh, the, the file extension, which is that ECC DB. If you are doing with um, MDB files, so you can put put it also the MDB that MDB. So now that's the value of our variables. So next step is to execute the uh, execute the backup because we are now ready. I put E. Okay. So E is equals to zero. And then set object uh, FSO. Don't for uh, don't uh, don't worry about uh, writing with small letters, guys, because automatically it will uh, change according to your uh, declared variables. So equals uh, create object. Create object, and now let's start with scripting scripting that file system object okay something like this and okay that one and then a is equals to object that copy file and now the source and target true or false should be true okay and let us release seat to nothing equals nothing okay so that's it and i will add so this is the function guys and then let us uh, after this one close so do cmd quit or close the database you can use application that quit or you can use this do cmd that quit it's up to you guys it's the same so i will put here sorry uh, close the database and also before it execute do cmd save uh run command ecc save record okay so that's it and let's try log out here are you guys so um employee list list us as of okay i will change this guys so uh, let's go back to the coding It's normal guys to get a to get some errors. So this one. We should have to put space as okay. So close. And let's try. Okay, here we go. Employee, employee list as of okay, February 19. And let us delete this. And now let us uh, try to add some data. Okay, you, for example, Mr. Eduardo Golfan and IT. So, close. Okay, and let us check here in this backup file. And this, that, that's the last record. Okay, as you can see guys, it is being saved in the backup, Mr. Eduardo Golfan. So, the last that I have to show you guys is creating a backup per month. So this one is this is for D, but uh, I'll show you how to do that. Okay. Uh, we have to change something, guys. This one. Okay. Let's put four M's. This is stand for a uh, month. Okay. If we put only 2, 2M, two it will uh, give us the the number, the number of months. Like today, uh, this month is February, 
So it will give us 0 to 2023. But if we put uh, 3 imps, uh, it will give us the 3 uh, liters of the month like Pib, Mar, and Og, or Jan. So something like this. But if we put the, uh, the 4 numbers, it will give us the whole uh, name of the month. So this one. So let's try. Close this. And okay. View. Let us log out. And here we go. So this one, guys. This is the new file. This is per month, February 2023. So that's it. I hope, guys, this video helps you a lot. And if you have some questions, you know what to do. You can just comment it down below. I will try my best to answer your question. And if you want to learn more about creating a Microsoft Access, then guys, please consider subscribing this channel for more informative videos. That's all. Thank you. And see you to my next video.